All right, hey guys, I'm Rhett with the Mix Club, and today we're going to continue talking about like how to promote your band and how to get yourself moving on in the music career if you're wanting to play out live. Now, keep in mind that this is my experience, and so your mileage is going to vary on this. But we've talked in the other videos about just simple things down from making sure that a venue is advertising. They have their road sign up, things that are going to help. You know, like I said, when people are driving by the highway, they see that your band's going to be there. Now, things that we also need to cover that are extremely important is, you know, social media. You need to be pushing your band, your solo career, however you can on social media with a website. Um if you're going to be playing venues in an area, something you also need are posters. Um, it may be a little harder than it used to be, but a long time ago when we would do this, we would go to gas stations. They had bulletin boards. We would, you know, find as many places that we could put these up as we could. Um, it might seem like, eh, that's a waste of time. It doesn't help. It does, guys. If you have one person that tells five people that, hey, let's go out to this venue. And when you do this, you want to make sure and and when, when you see people, you always want to be like, hey, man, come on out. It's going to be a great time. You have to really push what you're selling because you are trying to sell yourself, you know, trying to sell your band. Um, I always, always worked hard at this. And I know that it helps because I would see the people that, you know, came that, that I handed the flyer to. Um, another thing you can do that's a really great idea. I had business cards printed. They folded like this. Okay. And they would go on the table and that was our schedule. And um, it was a little bitty calendar would open up. I had one that was like little bitty books and they were just our calendar. That's another reason I really tried to book our band a year in advance. And like on those calendars, um, you know, maybe just do it a couple months. So that way, if you have something that falls apart, you know, in your scheduling that you don't have people coming to gigs um, that, that, you know, you've had to change. But with social media, make sure and put on that little card, make sure and check, you know, dates and venues before you leave to drive in case there's been, you know, a scheduling conflict, somebody's gotten sick, you never know what. But these are really, really important to, you know, just put on the table at the venues and people will pick these up. You can even have, if you're at the point to where, you know, you're having people coming in and they're paying cover charge, you can have somebody sitting there uh, next to the person taking cover charge and handing them your schedule. Try to do something that makes them want to, um, you know, keep that. Business cards at the time I had, you know, matches done. And I also had cigarette lighters and, and stuff like that. Wouldn't give those away. But like your, anything you can to have your product, your name in people's hands. Uh, Keychains are great because, you know, you can get cool little keychains with, you know, maybe a little cartoon of yourself or your band or just your logo of your band on that keychain. Guess where it goes? It goes on their keychain. And um, they're, they're not that expensive. So when you're thinking about how to promote your band, just start thinking out of the box. Anything you can do to get people into the venue, like I said, newspaper ads, I don't know how relevant newspaper is today because there's not a lot of them left, right? But flyers are definitely relevant. Um, go anywhere you can to get, to get them put up. Hell, even put them in a bathroom. You know, I mean, just depends where you are, what type of business, what they'll let you do. But definitely it's worth the ask, right? Um, I used to have days where I just used to do stuff like this. Something else that is really good if you're also trying to build up your crowd, your following, is if there are some venues in your area and you are not working, you need to be out at these venues and you need to be saying, hey, what are you guys doing next Friday? Come on out. We're gonna be we're gonna be right here. So try to you know, go out to places. It's good if you go to the same club because that way it's not really like, you know, conflicting interest. You can say, hey, man, we're going to be here next Saturday. You guys ought to come out, man. I'll see you there. I'll, I'll get you guys a drink or something. Do whatever you can to get people to come back. Plus, you're becoming friends with these people. So when they come in, they're, they're going to know you. Okay. And this is all little bitty things that helps build what you're trying to do. And I think 
that the music industry in a lot of ways has gotten harder because the venues have shrank, but it was never easy, guys. Okay, back in the day, when I first started, we actually had booking agents, okay? And there's not so many like it was back in the day. But when I first started, we did a lot of what were called hotel motel circuits. You would play there for a week, and they would they would book you. And, you know, you might be there Monday through Saturday and moving on to your next one. It's – would I do that again if I had to start over? I, I did a lot of thinking on that last night, and probably not, because the reason is – you really the only reason I would do that, let me let me step back a little bit. The only reason I would do that if I was wanting to really practice up the band, it's great because you get to work all those nights in a row. But here's the problem with that. A lot of times when you do those venues, you are nothing more than kind of like a paid background. And maybe on Saturday night is when you have a big crowd. They're not coming usually because they know you. They're just coming because that's kind of the place to go. That's how it used to be. I don't even know if there's a lot of that going on anymore. Probably my guess, if there is, it's kind of a little one-man band type of deal. Uh, not, they're not really suited for bands because what happens is you are usually – at a hotel or something like that back when they used to have this type of entertainment and you would always be too loud. They would not like the style of music. If you were playing country, they'd want rock. If you were playing rock, they'd want blues. It it was just kind of a shit show. So I would do everything I could to, you know, steer away from that unless it was a good venue. There were some of these that were just killer venues. Like we played up, sorry about that. We played in uh, Thunder Bay and it was a hotel gig. The club was absolutely incredible. I mean, it was the place to go in town. You'd have, you know, five, 600 people. It, I think it was called the Golden Nugget or something like that. And uh, it was just a rocking place to go. But there's a lot of them that aren't like that when you were doing that circuit. But I'm kind of trying to keep this when you're building your band in your local area and building out, you know, like throwing a rock in a pond. Just do everything you can to get your name out. Like I said, get flyers out. Everything you can. When people come in and they pay their cover charge, get somebody handing them a little calendar on like a little business card. Even if it's only for the next month, chances are you're going to see them again, right? Or they'll come up and ask for that. They'll get used to that. Anyway, guys, this is a little short series I'm doing on um, how to promote your band, how, how to, you know, get out there and make some money with it. And it's from my experience, stuff that I did for years and years. Now, some of this has changed, but the principles still are, are still solid. Promote yourself, be out and about. If you're sitting in your house playing video games, you're not promoting yourself, okay? I know today you have to do promoting like getting on the web and doing stuff like this. Probably the most important thing that I could see is going out to the venue when you're not playing, coming up before you're playing, and inviting people out and trying to help. Even if you only get five or ten people more, that's five or ten people more that are going to talk about you. But anyway, guys, I am Rhett with the Mix Club, man. I appreciate you sticking around for these videos. Leave some comments below. Hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure and, you know, join up to Mix Club if you like uh, watching mixing videos. I do a lot of mixing videos with new plugins and stuff like that. Take a mix live from scratch and just mix it out. Um, not a great deal of talking when I do it, but it's enjoyable. I enjoy it. Anyway, guys, I'm Rhett, man. Y'all be safe. See you soon.